Brazil is about the ATG and ad hoc brand management team's better long effort to maintain continuous profitability and market dominance of all star companies in the face of fiercer competition. First of all, I'm going to generalize the overall performance of our company and introduce you this underlying logic that guided our decision. We take pride in our business performance as compared with competitors who ranked number one in all indicators. Benefited from the budget spending strategy, our market share, growth profit, and the stock price took the lead early in the period, while net income and capacity utilization twisted a little in year 45 and year 67, partly caused by the introduction of new product line. The first rule in our budget spending strategy is to spend the budget till the last penny to maximize the marketing effects. And we spend the budget by the priority of self-worth, promotion, and allowance, as these three factors are the key to stimulate sales growth. Increasing sales growth is the most cost-effective way to increase overall unit sales, while expenditures on promotion and allowance can boost consumer purchases and channel sales, respectively. There are three rules in our operation strategy. First, clear-cut positioning. As cold market has a larger total market share, we implemented two products targeting at different population segments to seize the market. Although cough market ranked second, we think it will gradually be eroded by the cold market. Thus, we chose to extend our product line in allergy market to avoid cannibalization. Second, keep all-star company in high reputation. We value public opinions a lot. Whenever there was a negative comments about our product, we would take action on it in a timely manner. Despite the cost of special decision, we will always choose the best offer to keep our products in good quality maintain nice relationship with big customers, and improve after sales service. Lastly, make decision based on quantitative analysis. Each year after making the decision, we will comprehensively reflect on the number of changes in each report in order to gain market insights that can help us make better decision in the coming year. Having decided on the underlying logic, we proceeded with the simulation with a simulated understanding of the market conditions and business strategy. It is only in hindsight can we piece together our approach as shown here. To conduct the situation analysis, we adopted the 5C model. For context, we closely monitored major symptoms reported, the inflation and its effect on price markup across the industry to ensure that we're in tune with the market trends. For competitors, we kept aiming at the dominant brands in any market segment that we're in and try to take the lion's share of given segments. For customers, there were two aspects to consider. One, nature of demand. By prioritizing the decision criteria of effectiveness and then side effects, we think in the shoes of targeted demographics so as to boost customer satisfaction and retention. Two, extend the demand. We leverage market size and growth of profiting segments and downplay those disadvantages areas. For collaborators, we gave holistic consideration of all industry stakeholders, i.e. generous allowance and discount to all except failing channels, sufficient sales force to support both wholesales and retailers, and sufficient detailers to raise brand awareness among medical professionals. For company positioning, we concluded from the outset that all round is a time-honored brand and currently a major player in cold segment. Looking ahead, however, we had to develop complementary product to cover as many market segments as possible. Given the above considerations, we formulated our marketing strategy using STP concept. Segmented, yet differentiated and complementing product lines, targeting customer base with high brand awareness, effective cure, and high cost efficiency and position our campaign by competing with segment leaders through sufficient profit and support sharing with collaborators and maintaining high recognition in areas most concerned by customers. Let's talk about the sales force. 
Well, channels are powerful and are essential to market share and increase sales revenue. So, sufficient sales force is still required to be deployed in channels. We have maintained and continuously expanded a large sales team with targeted focus of respective channels. In terms of brands, what we adopted was the multi-product branding strategy. It is hoped that magnifying existing brand brand's influence would allow consumers to more easily accept the brand's new products and at the same time achieve higher recognition and a stronger commercial return. With regards to pricing, as per the trade-off situation, the price markup would be plus or minus 1% based on the inflation rate every year. Besides, managing customers' psychological responses to price is a reference for pricing. Three methods were involved in this regard. Quality signaling, as all around maintains a high satisfaction rate. For the purpose of leaving consumers, the impression of good quality through its high prices, we kept its relatively high price confidently. Reference price. We have always maintained the cost effectiveness of the three products, thereby increasing customer satisfaction and sales. Mentionable that we always set prices slightly lower than the market reference price level for new products to attract more potential consumers and rapidly expand market share. Left the digital bias. In several price adjustments, we also used the trick of left digital bias to deliberately mark the price at 599 or 688, etc. Then let's take a look at the promotion methods. The variety market promotion reports provided a comparison of consumer end to the promotion used in the market during the past years. This is important for competitive benchmarking for both spending and promotion work. We divided our promotion methods into two general types. One target one shared a promotion activity and primarily as motivating channel heading. The other target consumer that with ultimate purchases. We give an additional almost 20% discount of MSRP and incentive it to different channels. For example, 20% to grocery stores and 15% to convenience stores. We judge the which channels were eligible for corporate fund according to our overall budget to incorporate our brand in their advertising. We also encourage the consumers to switch brands through in-store channels by offering trial products and coupons to incentive consumers and get checkout. Our emphasis on promotions was equivalent to that of the sales force. We determined the promotion expenditure according to the percentage of sales target around 90% and readjusted based on the market high average. We also set the promotion cooperated to that of the competitors. In addition, every time we made promotion decisions, we also considered the effectiveness of promotion campaigns, consumers' purchase intention, the comparison with other brands in the channel, and how our promotion decisions affect the exposure of the brand in the channel. Overall, we had the highest conviction rate of the three products combined. In terms of the channels, we established good collaboration with the major channels and expanded market segments. Closely, mo closely monitored channel sales and made flexible adjustments, except for convenience store, all other channels have applied target measures to promote our products. Next, I'm going to talk about advertisement. From the digital market form, we can say, we used the best ad agency on all three brands to keep the best quality of the advertisement. For all round, the simplest targets were code and cost. Democratic targets were young singles, young families, mature families, and the next pairs, and the retired. As it's a well-known brand, we needed to spend more money on the comparison with best health and the reminders. For all round plus, the symptom target was cost, 
as a democratic target for young families, mature families. Because this brand was for children, and we would like to attract more families with children. We spent more money on the comparison with that top class. For our ex, the target was allergic, and the democratic target were young singles, mature families, and empty nesters. It was a new brand, so we spent more money on the primary and benefits to try to increase people's awareness on this brand. In early years, we found that invest on the digital market can increase the stock price profoundly. Thus, we spend relatively higher budget on digital marketing than our competitors. Well, after year three, as our company has built a high brand awareness in social media platform, we gradually withdraw the budget and maintain at relatively high market average level. In short, the four major factors we took concern in the hope of boosting our sales, our market shares, our sales force, cash flow, investment, and special decision. First of all, the support of the manufacturing sales force is critical to the success of our star brand in the market. Our budget spending strategy from very beginning focused on the reinforcing the sales force directly to retail outlets, which including maintaining relationships with the current retailers and thus developing new retail accounts. The direct sales force also present China promotion, allowances, discounts to the wholesales, and the new product introductions to the retailers. We realize that the channels are too powerful to be like of the sales force. The huge size of our sales force helped us remain in dominant in the market at the beginning, and also continually made us undercut other competitors in the years to come. Approximately, we had to remain at the top from the third year and all the way till the end because we had to spend almost the last penny we had on sales force every year. And the consequence is the sales were boosted as a result. And we also pay special attention on our cash cow, the all around spread. It is our first priority to our success. If it is screwed, the company will be overwhelmed from being incapable of competing other competitors. For instance, if a 1% market share is dropped from all around, other products such as all around plus or all right will be hardly to catch up even with their growth of the market share by 20%. To hold our ground and dominance in the market, we increase our budget on advertising with no more than $15 million annually. And this number was on the rise at each year in the effort of remaining all around at the leading position in the market. Another secret of our growth is the investment in both the China promotion and the customer discount. We gave the China a great deal of offers to support their motivation to share our products, namely all around plus and RI to the market at a very large extent. We also offer 40% discounts for wholesales as well as give individual customer coupons to make them purchase our products at the relatively lower prices so as to ensure them that they can experience the good quality of our products, but also with a cheaper price. And that's how we did to introduce our new products to the market share from year four to year eight. Consequently, our market share as a whole remained at the first rank of the pharmaceutical industry. In the end, we took very possible measures we, we can to make a shine of our reputation. Details include shifting environmental friendly packages, returning the expired products rather than selling them with a discount. They might have cost some from our budget, but all possible measures we took could help raise our public awareness, reputation, and market share. Thank you very much.